Welcome back to another episode of Tank Overview. Now this episode is going to be a tad bit shorter. This is because there really isn't much info on the vehicle and there's only a couple of photos here and there. Now the vehicle in question today is the Ursat Stug. The Ursat Stug was a vehicle developed for Operation Greif, which I covered in a previous episode. But to summarize, Operation Greif was an attempt by the German military to deceive Allied units by disguising their own infantry and equipment as Allied. The Ursat Stug, similar to the Ursat's Panther, had extra plates added to it to disguise it as an American vehicle. The exact vehicle which it was supposed to mimic, we will talk about later. But for now, let's cover the specifications. The Ursat Stug is a modified Stug 3. Five of these vehicles were created, and all were presumed to have been serviced. The Ursat Stug also had side skirts added onto the hull. The Ursat Stug also had plates added on the rear to have a downwards appearance. Now you may be asking, what was the Ursat Stug supposed to mimic? Well, we don't know what it was supposed to be. Unlike the Ursat's Panther, there is no allied vehicle that can be clearly referenced to it. Many people have narrowed the most likely contenders to be the T-28 or the T-95 and the M7 Priest. Why these two vehicles? Well, at the time of Operation Greif's development, the American T-28 or T-95 project was underway. Many people connected the Ursat Stug's unusual design with the T-95. It is theorized that the designers of the Ursat Stug presumed that the T-95 was in service or would be used by the Americans by the time Operation Greif would be launched. T-95 is a far-fetched theory, which is what led many to suggest rather that the Ursat Stug was supposed to mimic a standard M7 Priest, which matches better with the Ursat Stug's size and on the surface, sounds more plausible than the T-95. Another theory I've seen float around is that the Ursat Stug wasn't supposed to be any particular allied tank in general. The tank was supposed to cause American forces to be initially confused by allied markings, giving the Germans a window of time to engage them first. Due to Operation Greif being mostly a failure, all Ursat Stugs were fielded in standard roles. At least two were mainly documented. The two vehicles were abandoned due to the infamous fuel shortage issues facing the Germans at the time. One of the vehicles were found in Garamont with the markings G5 painted on it. Another Stug found near Garamont was booby trapped. Both would be scrapped. The other three presumably were scrapped or lost in action. The Ursat Stug and the Ursat Panther were novel DIY projects, but ultimately wouldn't have made any major dent in the American lines. Both these vehicles would symbolize the desperation of German forces in a losing battle. Well, now with the Ursat's pair out of the way, let's cover something more, perhaps American? We also talked about this vehicle a couple minutes back. Next episode, we'll cover the channel icon itself, the T-28 and the T-95.